Hello and welcome to Mr. Excalibur. My name is Arthur and today we're looking at Hanwei's Great Wave Katana. Um, I would describe this as the, you know, as the quintessential katana, both in size, weight, it's got a standard 28 inch blade, and about 10, 10 and a half inch suka. And I have to say this thing was an absolute joy to cut with. Um, it is a, you know, it's, like I said, it's, it's got everything that's really good about Hanway at not too expensive a price. These are going between five and six hundred dollars, so they're in the kind of the, the mid-range of a lot of katanas. Uh, speaking of which, um, this is the second in a series of videos I'm doing on a couple different Hanway products. Uh, mainly kind of getting a nice overview of some of that company's product line. Hanway's often been referred to as the standard of the industry and it's because they have so many products at so many different price points and um, this one definitely is a good, is a very good representation. Um, just to clarify, I'm not a representative from Hanway. I'm also not a representative of any company that distributes Hanway katanas. So, <coughs> um, there's not a great deal of, of money changing hands here, just uh, FYI, pardon the traffic in the background. Um, but as per usual, we have the um, uh, usual unboxing footage showing how this came to me. Um, I ordered this from Cult of Athena, so we could see how, you know, that was packed and shipped to me. Um, there actually is not a great deal of other footage out there on YouTube. One of the reasons why I was actually very interested in this one. And so we don't have a lot of other uh, people's experiences in how this cut. Uh, but we do have mine, we do have my test cutting, and I have to say, like I said just a minute ago, this thing really was a lot of fun to cut with. Um, and for people who are, you know, looking at getting kind of, like I said, the, the quintessential katana, um, this is definitely something to consider. So uh, let's take a look at all the usual stuff, unboxing, cutting, the stats, and we'll see you guys here in just a little minute. Let's take a look at that footage now. This unboxing of this particular katana was a um, bit of a different experience. Uh, it started off with that caution label, beware this item is sharp. Um, I actually bought this along with another Cass Hanway product uh, from the same place. So this is actually the inner box that came with an outer box that came with the, the the other sword so it was pretty well boxed together I know that once in a while you know it seems kind of like a, a lot of the same kind of stuff but it's I think it's important for people to see how these things are shipped to you now this was something that really has set this particular Hanway product um, really above a lot of the others and that was this really nice cleaning kit that came along with it. I will be the first through 10 people to admit that half the stuff in there I had no idea how to use. I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with the traditional way of disassembling a sword. I've never done it myself. These were all the tools with which to do it. Um, I thought it was pretty nice considering the price point that that whole thing along with uh, a lot of the paperwork you see me shuffling here it shows you how to disassemble the sword, it shows you how to take care of it, it shows you how to uh, tighten up the saya if it's a little bit too loose. Um, when I first got the sword, it, it was a little loose in the saya, a little bit of uh, saya rattle. Uh, they showed how to kind of tighten the fit up with little shims and stuff like that. So it really was kind of a nice, you know, full package of everything that you need to do, you need to know, and are really take care of this sword. Um, this is actually the first 
Hanway that I bought that was in this price point. And so this was kind of a, a new experience for me. I know some of you probably are going to be watching this going, yeah, 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 we know what, well, it's new for me. Um, another thing that's always nice when you get these katanas is when you get the nice sword bag with it, whatever quality it is, it's just kind of a nice thing to, to, to go along with it that just about all of them uh, give you this kind of a nice thing. Now, with all the Hanway sword that I've gotten, if you see me kind of unwinding the various tags here, it's all of their product stuff, and you know they are the you know the big cast Hanway, and so there's a lot of product tags and uh, you know, advertisements and all kinds of little logos and things that are all attached to it. So you know who it who made it, where it came from, all this kind of stuff. When I first pulled the sword out of the Saya, I was really impressed with how nice it felt. It, um, it's a solid bladed katana, it does not have a bohi, so expect a little bit more weight, but it was really quite well balanced. Just a very thin coat of oil that was around it, the sword came inside the saya. Not all these katanas come that way, sometimes they come outside and then they have a, like a plastic sheath or something that has the oil or waxy substance inside. So it's, it's kind of important to, to note that when looking at these. Uh, the other thing that I noticed right away was the handle and how very comfortable it was. Uh, this is a standard size katana, so I mean it, it, it has kind of a standard uh, feel to it as far as the length of the, of the blade and the tsuka. Here's kind of an up close of the blade. Very nice hamon line. Uh, that was put on it. This is a differentially treated T10 blade. All the fittings were very tight. Uh, the Edo wrap was also very tight. The knots did not move. Uh, everything on the sword felt very solid. A lot of the decals and a lot of the design work on the uh, on all the fittings on the Kashira and the Fushi were nice and very creamy clean and crisp. Uh, that's something I've come to expect from Cass Hanway. Uh, the Saya came with this very nice Segeo cord. Probably some of the nice Segeo cord I've ever seen. Uh, it's really thick, heavy stuff. And then of course, you know, right out of the box, you know, this thing is just shaving paper like nothing. So, I, I really can't say anything really bad about this sword coming right out of out of the box nice and sharp everything all the fittings all tight together comes with a cleaning kit uh, that was something I actually wasn't expecting although I, I should have it actually says it in the literature when you see it advertised in various places it says that it comes with it but uh, some really good impressions of the great wave Cutting with the Great Wave Katana by CAS Hanway was, I'll just start off this by saying it was really nice. Now I am wearing gloves here and I'm actually kind of glad I did because the one thing that I, I've noted before and you'll hear me note again is that Cass Hanway does have a tendency to make their Tsukas, their, their handles, very flat feeling. Now the advantage to that though is for those learning about uh, edge alignment and everything, this makes that very easy because it's aligned with the edge so you know where it's going. Some of the, the rounder handles, which I actually prefer, um, the sword can kind of slip as far as where the edge actually is and for a, a sword at this price point um, this is really nice because it's, it's really giving you a clear idea of where the edge is but for me it's it it kind of bites into my hand just a little bit so I mean that, that's a personal thing that's my own you know 
I guess you could say my own bias, the result of my past experience with non-Japanese swords. Um, but you know, I'm I'm learning more about them all the time, and so. Um, but with my gloves on, this thing just was really nice to feel in the hand. Now, I'm six foot four. This sword is a little small. Uh, this is a standard length katana, where you have a you know about a 28 inch or so blade. You have about between a 10 and 11 inch suka, and that's just it's. It's a little small for me, but at the same time, this thing just was a joy to swing around and cut with. And now, here's the first one. Swing, and swing, and swing. There you go. <laughs> I, I, I was I, first model, and I got three diagonal cuts out of a milk bottle. Now, for those of you who are not too familiar with this fine art that we refer to as bottle shigiri, um, one must be one with the... Uh, sorry, I can't really keep that BS for, for too long. <laughs> but um, that was a juice bottle, and typically the plastic on those juice bottles are so heavy that you get about one good swing in them and they, the rest of it goes flying. That one, now I, I don't think this is attesting too much to my cutting ability, but that first one, this thing cut so well that the, 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 the static pressure of it was enough for it to stay there. And I was just, very early on, I was, I was very impressed with how this sword was cutting. And uh, I'm thinking to myself, okay, you know what, I cannot have learned that much here in just the last months that I've been, you know, you know, whittling around with these things. This has to be, you know, a superior sword. And, you know, the more I was swinging with it, the more I, I did realize, I've swung T10 blades before. Now, check this out, I'm going to kind of interrupt myself. Check this out. This is something I'll show you up close uh, a, a little later. This is an empty bottle. This is an empty uh, milk bottle. Normally these things go flying. In this case, th that was not going to be what was going to happen. Now yeah, the pieces still went flying, but check this out. That's what it cut through. It literally almost filleted this thing right in half. I've never seen a sword cut quite that well on such an empty bottle, which normally they just go they just go flying. So here we go with the car cardboard test. Um, this is actually some different cardboard. The the TV boxes I used to have finally went the way of the dodo, and this thing just it. It didn't exactly plow into it. As you guys will see kind of the close-up footage here. And I think with this test, it's kind of a combination of not only blade geometry or you know actually weight of the blade. Uh, actually, that, that is what it has mostly to do with. This is really a testimony to the weight of the blade. It's very sharp and it cuts down quite a bit. Now those are heavy duty moving boxes that are two ply. And that thing went down about eight inches into them. So, it um, for being a very light sword, it it cut through it pretty well. Now, something that I've seen a lot talked about uh, when it comes to uh, what you cut with with these swords, especially when you're doing what I could consider bottled shigiri. In other words, cutting various different bottles filled with water. You have to also consider what was in those bottles before you cut with them. Um, they can be filled with juice, they can be filled with oils, they can be filled with uh, washer detergent, old milk. Whatever those things are, they may have washed around quite a bit as you were filling up with water, but they're still residues. So whenever you guys put these swords away, they are high carbon steel, they will rust. But also, there's other damage that can be done to them. So make sure you clean them off so you have them to use another day.
All right, so I wanted to show you guys something I don't normally do. This is kind of a different environment for, for doing these wrap-up videos. But I wanted to show you guys this. This was the empty milk bottle that I cut with with the Great Wave Katana from Hanway. Um, I've never quite seen one just slice through this quite like this before. So, I mean, this was empty. It was sitting on the stand and it just filleted it like that. So I think that's probably a pretty good testament to how the sword moves. It's very light, so it doesn't have a lot of weight behind it. So obviously a testament to how well they've uh, sharpened the sword and how well, um, how well it handles. Um, I can't say a whole lot for my own cutting techniques, but um, this is obviously a, a pretty good you know, showing of, of how it goes when looking at, you know, uh, backyard targets. Um, like we mentioned in the unboxing footage, um, the sword just had a wonderful feel to it. Um, now my own, I guess, my one gripe with these things, and I'm finding this more and more true with a lot of Hanway stuff, and this is, again, this is just personal preference if that's not something that is really you know, a concern for you. Then, obviously, it's not going to be a deciding factor for you. And that is, Heinway tends to make their handles almost, they make them very, very flat. And as a result, you get, you know, the, um, the, the advantage to that is that you have a very clear idea of where the blade is. The rounder handles, which I actually like, um, the the sword kind of can swivel in the hand a little bit. But if you are someone who is really a stickler on learning and you know, really focusing on edge alignment, which is important when learning kinjutsu or any of the other disciplines that involve the katana, um, having that very almost flat handle. Uh, probably is really important. Um, now I would say that for someone who's going after a sword about at this price point, you're getting a really, I think a, a really good all-in-one sword. You're getting um, a katana with some nice castings in the fittings. Everything is really tight. The uh, Tsuba has a nice, nice feel to it. They've really kind of smoothed out uh, the, the, I guess the the finish to it, I'm not really sure how would you call that. Um, some would say it's a patina, then there's those that would say, well, no, it's not a real patina, it's just painted on. Whatever it is, it's it's very smooth and very, very comfortable. They really balance this blade nice. And of course, they've got the blade made out of my favorite material, which is T10. I, I really can't say enough about these T10 blades that either Hanway or other companies keep using. And today's example, of cutting with this thing really was no exception. Um, I know I've said this a couple times already, this thing was a lot of fun to cut with. Um, I am really struggling as to whether or not I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> um, so, but um, this one was a lot of fun and I would say that it's going to serve you well either as a uh, something that's going to work in the backyard um, just as a you know fun backyard cutter or as a tatami cutter. Um, I can't really speak, I'll be honest, as far as how well it's going to cut through tatami, although I have talked to a few other reviewers who have said that it really was um, a good katana to use for tamashigiri. So um, I have that kind of anecdotal evidence. Unfortunately, I don't have any video footage of it. Um, but I do have that from a couple other big reviewers on YouTube that I've consulted with when I started uh, thinking about doing a review for this sword. Um, so just a few other things about it that I really liked was actually the, the Saya. Um, I mentioned this probably in the unboxing, um, was that the Segeo cord that they put on this just is really nice. I mean, it's really heavy um, and just, uh, just 
it's it's a nice quality. I mean, it's nice to when you pay about you know this much. As I mentioned, this goes between between five and six hundred bucks. Um, and depending on the site, you know, I would say it's gonna probably go over the six hundred dollar mark. Um, if you're paying five hundred dollar for it, five hundred dollars for it, it's a steal uh, for this particular model. Now, for me uh, personally, the standard the standard lengths of katanas are a little small. Uh, but you know what? If that's not an issue for you, again, that's just a personal preference of mine. Um, then this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect um, for something at this price point to be so well done. I would say, you know, I, I'm. I know I'm kind of really giving it a ringing endorsement here, but after taking a look at it out of the box, um, as sharp as it is, and then the test uh, cutting footage of it, you know, it really did deliver on what I've read about it already. So there it is, the uh, Great Way of Katana by Hanway. Um, I hope you enjoyed the foot, the footage, the video. Um, I hope it's been uh, informative for you, and again, um, please comment, 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 comment. I would love to hear about more people's experience uh, with this sword, uh, with this particular model. Um, again, I'm doing this as a series of different Hanway products, um, just kind of a smattering of, of different ones, not necessarily in any particular order. Uh, but this was the this was the, the next one in, in line, so I really enjoyed it. Um, if you are interested in this, uh, please take a look at you know various distributors that all have it. Try to get the best po uh, price possible, and um, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.